guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode 115. I'm pretty sure. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I can't remember the last time I made a video. I think it was last week. I don't think I'm super behind. But I got a lot of stuff and some happy mail that I want to show. Um, so I thought I'd go ahead and make another video. So, so far this week I only have one finished object and I don't have the ends woven in because lazy <laughs> and but it's the little baby divine hat that I, I showed last week it was a whip all I had to do is like do a row and a half of border so I did that and now I just need to weave in the two ends the starting end and this end and then that'll be all done that can either go in my gift pile that I always have like baby items for in case friends or family members uh, get pregnant or maybe <laughs> my own pile if we do decide to have um, another baby soon and it's a girl because this definitely is a girl hat. <laughs> um, even though I'm not the kind of person who thinks pink is for girls and blue is for boys. But this just looks girly. Anyways, that's my only finished object. I do have some technically finished objects. I have finished squares. But it's a part of a, uh, a blanket. But anyways, I forgot to say, this is the divine hat. And all the links to all the patterns I talk about will be below the video in the description box. Uh, a lot of times I forget to say that. And then people ask me. Um what patterns I was doing and it's, they're always in the description box below the video and uh, I always try to put a direct link to the pattern so that you can go straight to it and download it or buy it or whatever it is but yeah so my neck my uh, first whip <laughs> is um, I did really good at weaving in the ends of this except this one square but this is the pumpkin face throw and it's a free download from Yarnspirations website which also be linked below um, I showed it last week and then I started it that same day because <laughs> I was super excited to get it going and um, I really love making blankets and I especially love making blankets when they're in pieces because then you know you could quickly make the pieces and then just sew it all together and you have a blanket so I did make the orange squares so there's one they're pretty much all the same <laughs> there are two different color oranges here and here's the one I didn't weave in my ends I gotta do that let me see if I can it's kind of hard to tell the difference in this lot I thought I had enough in um, Red Heart Pumpkin. I thought I had two skeins of that for some reason, and I didn't. So <laughs> I did use, I had like a partially used skein. I'd say it was like a three-fourths skein. So I did make two squares with Red Heart Pumpkin. And then the other three squares, they're still pretty similar. I think they're similar enough that's not going to matter. And besides, pumpkins are different shades of orange. But, um... The other three are made with Crafter Secret that I had on hand, and its color is called Are We There Yet? <laughs> and then the border is just uh, Red Heart Black. So I got all five of the orange squares done. And uh, they work up super fast, they're just a square. <laughs> and then I did start one of the um, multicolor squares. I almost got it done, I was on the border row. I made this at my in-laws <laughs> when we were sitting over there. Um, so I started it. So it's middle is the Crafter Seeker, and then this is Red Heart Spring Green, Amethyst, Heather Gray, or something like that, and then black. So there's going to be four squares like this one. And then um, it'll be three rows of three squares. And then i got to make the little applique pumpkin faces and the word boo and put on there, and then a border. And I think that's pretty much the blanket. Okay, I had to do a snack break for Jesse, <laughs> but this is what it's going to look like. It's a free pattern, so I printed it so I could take it to my in-laws. But, uh, yeah, so I got the orange squares done. I started working on one of the variegated ones, or striped ones. So then I got to make all the little appliques, sew them on, sew all the squares together, or crochet them together probably, and then do a border, which you can kind of see the border right there. It looks scallopy or something. I haven't read ahead. But uh, I do have all the yarn to make it. <laughs> I just thought I had more pumpkin, which is fine. I can buy more whenever. I do have other colors of orange. I just didn't have multiple balls of the same color orange. But I think these two are close enough that no one's really going to notice. And even if they do, I don't care. <laughs> it's just a, a throw. This project's actually living in a, a grocery bag because um, I took it to my in-laws. I like taking stuff that's big and open like this when I'm going like to my in-laws or somewhere so that I can pull stuff in and out without having to open and close it and uh, it just makes it easier. Plus this, this is a blanket so it's got a lot of uh, skeins of yarn in it and stuff so that is my pumpkin blanket. My next whip, my only other whip other than the hibernating ones, 
is a baby blanket that I made. I started um, like a month or so ago and I ran out of yarn. Then when I went to Hobby Lobby the other day, I um, bought two more balls. And I think I'm actually going to have to go back and buy one more. <laughs> I, um, I thought two more would be enough, but I'm starting to think that I'm probably going to need I have one more ball just to do like the last two rows in. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But this, when I downloaded it originally, it was called the Princess Charlotte Christening Blanket because it was the year that she was born. I think it's been renamed since. Uh, it'll be linked below if I can't remember. I see when, uh, my printed version of it is the old name, but it's been renamed, I guess, because of copyright reasons. But I am, I'm a, over halfway done. I've got, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got ten more rounds to go. So here it is. Here's my yarn so I don't pull out stitches. Okay. I made this exact same blanket for Jesse when he was when I was pregnant with him before I even knew that he was a boy. So um, the colors for his, I used um, Lion Brand Baby or something. It was the really thin baby yarn and the giant balls. I had to use two balls of it held together, and it was like the gender neutral color it was like white and pink and blue and just all those gender neutral colors and um so i thought this one was gender neutral i don't know it's cute i would use it either way if, if i if i were to have a boy or girl in the future um it's really soft and squishy i love this yarn it's um yarn b baby b soft and sleek baby oh it's a lot of words and the colorway is called grasshopper i think look yes so, so far, I, there's three balls of that in there, and I'm working on the fourth ball. There are 164 yards per ball. It's a worsted weight. And I have 10 rolls to go, so I'm thinking I'm going to need one more ball. But that's okay, because I, I go to the town that has Hobby Lobby in it all the time, so I'll just run by and grab another one. There's a ton of ends, <laughs> because the third ball, when I attached it, you know, there's two ends from attaching it, and then... Um, like one row into the blanket there was a knot so I cut that out and so there's more ends from that so I do need to weave in my ends and um yeah it looks like there's eight ends right now <laughs> plus if this ball runs out there'll be two more ends and um I'm I thought about either just getting another ball and finishing the blanket or just taking out a couple of the lace rows and doing the border row early but it really depends on the size I'll have to measure it make sure that it's a good enough size to wrap a baby in it's pretty big right now, but Jesse's was much bigger than this. It it had like double the lace. It still does, you know. It's in the closet, <laughs> and I got like like I said, ten rolls. And let's see, one, two, nine of them are lace rolls. So there's gonna be nine more lace rolls, and then a border roll that's gonna be a five double crochet shell border. So I think I'm gonna need more yarn. But I don't know. I'm going to be, I'll probably be working on this today, just to try to use up this last ball of yarn to see if I need more yarn. And then if I run out of yarn, I will start working on my pumpkin blanket again. Okay, so that is my only whips that I have right now. Um, got other things that I want to make. I'm just trying to focus on those. But anyways, <laughs> I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> I want to finish my tree skirt, my table runner, and then probably work on some more of those squares for my mom's blanket or pillow, whatever I decide to make her. I just want to get some of these things out of the way and then I can just I want to try to work on one whip at a time just so it's not so stressful but we shall see I guess I have a meal so I want to show that well first I'll do the um, acquisitions I did buy two of those balls for that blanket <laughs> and then the only other two things that I bought were these yarns and this is from Walmart this is their new mainstays cotton yarn and um, I had heard that it was comparable to I love this yarn cotton and it actually really is it feels super similar and it's the exact same thing. It's 100% cotton, 180 yards, 3.5 ounces. The only difference that I found was um, the Walmart brand calls for a, a five millimeter hook, and the I Love This Yarn cotton one calls for a 5.5. And they're both number four, they're both 100% cotton. And the other difference is at my Walmart, these are 2.98, and at my Hobby Lobby, the the Hobby Lobby brand is $3.99. So there's a dollar difference in the price for the basically the same exact yarn. But the bonus to Hobby Lobby is they have way more colors to choose from. My Walmart had um, maybe like five colors. And none of them were print colors. They were all solid colors. And Hobby Lobby has tons of solid colors and printed colors. 
but I think these are going to do good. I got them to make um, washcloths with. I thought I would stripe these two colors. I thought they were pretty. I don't know. I might do like a couple rolls of white and a couple rolls of green. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought these were pretty and I didn't like, I didn't really like the other colors they had. But uh, I got them to try them out and um, so far they're super duper soft. I like them a lot. Mama. Okay. <laughs> Interrupted again. <laughs> yeah, life with a preschooler age kid. Anyways, I did get some packages. Uh, happy my packages. One was from Bonnie. She has a channel called Strawberry Bonnie Crochet. I think it's what it is. I have something in my eyeball. <laughs> but she sent me a card with a watermelon on it and a note inside of it. And I knew it was, because um, I forgot what her last name was. <laughs> <laughs> so and the package only had her last name on it and I was trying I was like it's so familiar so David opened it for me and um, when he pulled out the card and I saw that I knew instantly that it was Bonnie because strawberry heart <laughs> and uh, I was like oh that's Bonnie and it was <laughs> but she sent a little toy for Jesse which he's already got somewhere it was a little like airplane hot wheel but she sent um, me some of these little faces <laughs> she got a, a haul of them from I think a thrift store and they're hobo faces. Well, this one looks like a clown, but they're hobo faces, which um, I don't know if you got, I'm sure a lot of you know what the hobos are. They're, uh, they were like a, a skit in a lot of old movies and cartoons and stuff. <clears throat> but I thought they were cute and then she, so she sent me some. So I gotta make little bodies for them. I'm gonna try to find some patterns, but I'm probably gonna have to design my own. <laughs> so that's gonna be a while before I uh, do that because I got a lot of stuff going on and I don't have time to sit down and design little hobo bodies <laughs> but she also sent me some um tablecloths i guess i had mentioned that i wish i had more cloth tablecloths i can't even remember what i talk about so she sent me two of them and this is one of them they're open because i opened them and went ahead and washed them so i could use one today <laughs> but it's pretty blue and it's also got some green in it uh, watery color looking one and then there's this one that is a floral print so they're already nice and clean and ready to be used. So I'll use one today and one tomorrow. <laughs> we always have to change our tablecloths every day because uh, Jesse's a pretty messy eater. <laughs> but um, that's why I like fabric tablecloths because I can just wash them, you know, and reuse them. I also got a postcard from Barbara. She's the one that lives on her sailboat. I see her send postcards to other people all the time. And then I finally got one. So that's cool. I think it's cool that they live on a sailboat and just travel around all the time. That's pretty neat. <laughs> And then I also got this card I wanted to show you guys. It is a thank you card. It is glary. This is from my sister's husband's family. Uh, it's a thank you card for raising the money for the funeral costs that we all did the other day with the raffle. And uh, I just wanted to share it because, you know, it's thanking me, but it's really thanking all of us because we all did it together. But uh, that is the thank you card from them. And then lastly, I got a package from my friend Phyllis. Me and Phyllis are, have become really good friends um, through YouTube, you know, from her watching me and then us starting talking. And then now we talk pretty much every day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we talk every day throughout the day. But she sent me some fabric. She's supposed to send me some um, ET fabric to make Jessie a throw and a pillowcase with. And also two balls of yarn that she bought that I couldn't ever find at my Joann's. So she bought them for me and sent them to me. So the fabric here, it's all globbed up because <laughs> I was looking at it, but it's a big fleece cutout of ET. So uh, I'm just gonna put a crochet border on it eventually. <laughs> Probably gonna be a little while before I do that. And then she also sent, uh, it's like a yard I think, of other ET print to make a pillowcase with. So I'll probably make Jesse a pillowcase with it and then I'll probably will also make a project bag eventually and just put it in the shop. Cause I know a lot of people love nostalgia things and this is you know nostalgia for a lot of us <laughs> but the um, yarn that she sent me was this and it's the ice libra and ice cream cotton blend in the rain i think it's rainbow i don't forgot yeah rainbow colorway obviously it is uh 225 yards each 47 percent cotton and 53 percent acrylic I have no idea what I'm going to make with it, but I've been wanting some, so I'm going to try to find something good to make with it. I told Devin I need like 20 more balls so I can make a giant blanket, but that would take forever. <laughs> she also sent um, some more fabric that will eventually be project rags, but I don't know when. <laughs> so this is about a yard, I think, of peanuts that is patriotic. And then this is a yard of Star Trek comic book. And 
this is another yard of a different print of Star Trek comic book. I know a lot of you guys are Trekkies, so <laughs> I was always a Star Wars fan, but I'm sure I would love Star Trek if I ever watched it. And this is, uh, this is like maybe half a yard, but it's cut differently than most people cut half a yard, but still usable for bags of dog bones. And these are like dog treat bones. And this is a puppy dog print. It's got different dogs. This one's got dogs and cats and rabbits and rats and all kinds of animals on it. And this super cute print. I love this one. We got the puppies. So she sent me those that will eventually be bags. And these ones will probably be the new bag that I was talking about making. Uh, I'm going to start making soon. I just I haven't felt like sewing lately. So I'll, it's probably going to be a few weeks before I start sewing again. Just because I haven't been feeling it. been real tired and stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm back again. Jesse had to use the potty, so I'm back again. <laughs> But the last thing that she sent me, which I thought was funny, was two bottles of Germex. <laughs> we had been talking recently about how me and Devin likes using this usually in the car when we get gas and stuff, even pre-corona stuff, just so you know you can clean your hands without having to go find somewhere to wash them. And uh, because of the corona stuff, <laughs> obviously it's hard to find, and it's still pretty hard to find around here. So she sent me two bottles of it, <laughs> which is pretty cool and super appreci appreciated. Appreciated? I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all the happy mail that I got that I can't remember. I think that's everything I got to share with you guys. Um, today is the 14th. So tomorrow is Wednesday, so I'll be doing a Watch Your Work on a Wednesday video. Plus, tomorrow's the 15th, which means I will be drawing the winner for the Christmas in July fairies giveaway thing, my, my little section of it. And then that winner will get a gift from me, and then that person will be entered into the big giveaway um, and then whoever's drawn from the big giveaway will get a gift from all the fairies, which last time I heard was over 170, uh, fairies. So that's over 170 packages that you could potentially be getting in the mail. So definitely check out my Christmas in July fairy video. I will link it in the description also. And, uh, run around today trying to find the other one. So, cause the more videos you comment on, the more you get entered into all these little giveaways. And then the more entries you get to the big giveaway, just is talking. <laughs> But I'm going to hop off here because i got some laundry to do and some cleaning and all that, you know, stuff. That boring adult stuff. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the What You Working On video and the first giveaway tomorrow. Bye, guys.